guys, welcome to hey guys, welcome to another special episode of the Last Federation. Oh yeah, I forgot I don't yell anymore. So yeah, let's be a little bit more calm and collective about the uh, Federation for me. So yeah, I'm gonna be playing my uh, first let's play of this game, and for my first let's play of this game. I'm going to tell you guys off the bat, I'm not going to go for a max run of getting all of 8 races into one federation, no, I think I'm just going to go for a, uh, uh, one of the specific achievements that they have in this game, and the specific achievement I'm going to go for in this game is, uh, good guys occasionally win, which is win the game with only the Galaxians, Andors, and Peltians in the federation. So what that means is that we're basically going to exclude every other race but those three to win this game. Alright, so let's begin! Alright, and what race do I want to start it on? Do I want to start on the planet of Acutians, Andor, Bolin, Burlus, Evok, Peltians, Galaxian, Thor, Thoraxian? Which one do I want to start as? Well, I don't want to make anyone mad, specifically I should say, but I should start out on... Well, personally, I do like studying on the Evox world because they have pretty good technology, so... Let's go, and... Should we make this a permadeath? Wait, what would Iron Man be? The save is renamed save and quit, which saves it really saves all oh, you Nah, that's not good enough. Let's go guys. Doo doom. So if you haven't already heard the intro, I did a cool intro about this like a video ago, so please go check that out. And we're just gonna begin the game. Alright, so everyone, we're now inside the game! And let's see who are our enemies right now. Those guys are uh, Evox, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, are Weak against shatter? No, no, the no. weak against ballistic. So any type of ballistic, I'm gonna have to not use. Well, let's use our first our shield breaker. Oh, wait, that's not a shield breaker. Whoops. This is our shield breaker. Let's first break the shields. All right, let's go right here. Go around. Just keep like circling them. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Don't you dare hit me. Okay, now that the shields are broken, now let's go in for our good old galactic attacks. Yeah, we're doing lots of damage to them right now. Okay, sending out more people to try to fight me. I could probably send out my own fighters and fight them too, but I'm not really feeling in the mood right now. Let's see, there we go. Okay, go get those men. Go get them. Go get them. Okay, turn around. Go get these guys. And then where's the other guy firing? There he is. Alright, start firing at that guy. He has no shield, so it should make it a lot easier to get this. Go get these. Yes! Got all the Evoc pilots. <laughs> Time for a good old fashioned kill these guys and see, boom, boom, boom. There we go. End victory, everyone. So, everyone, if you have never played uh, The Last Federation, the basic idea of this game is that you just want to form a federation. Very, very simple. Very, very easy to do. In my opinion, at least. So, let's just see. What should we do first? And already we're getting a lucky event called the Andor's Want Terraforming Specs. That is an awesome, yes, begin quest. That That is awesome, like, it, this, this is a good quest, because basically, um, basically what this is gonna do is that this doesn't quite make them uh, a spacefaring uh, nation, which is good, because then that would, okay, cloaking device, let's use our cloaking device, and go straight through everything. But what it does, is it basically, um, Uh, it basically, it doesn't give them technology, but it basically gives us a massive amount of opinion with them. Like, look at that. Look how much opinion that is with us. That is awesome. And so now we have instant 80 opinion with the, uh, with these guys, which means in our relationships, the Andors are already favoring us, which is good. We haven't even really done anything. They already favor us. So that's good. What we could do now is now we can start thinking about who do we want to kind of you know, bring up to our level of expansion, but before I do that, let me go to the black market quickly and sell my slaves, because <laughs> really, I'm not going to be able to do this any other time in the day, because like, as soon as other races, especially the Scalaxians, uh, Andorians, and Peltians start becoming, you know, space bearing, they're going to be like, hey, we don't like you having slaves, I'm going to be like, what, why, they make me good amount of money. And they're gonna be like, it's all injustice and moral and yada yada yada, all that stupid like stuff they tell you when you're preschoolers. So, yeah, I can't do that. So for right now, we're gonna have to gather as many slaves as we can, and then we're going to have to uh, do other stuff. And besides, this is the only nation we can pick on right now, considering that no one else is around. So, um, basically, what I'm going to do is definitely get a criminal activity, get a, 
get a supply diplomat. I'm going to figure out what I can do with each. Because I want to make sure that these guys are the weakest. I personally do not. I personally, since these guys are the first. Uh, no, I don't want to help these guys out. Basically, what I was saying is that. Uh, uh, to work with the Evox, we could hire a diplomat, but they don't like it when we do that. <laughs> yeah, they really don't like it when we do that. So, anyways, though. Uh, they really, the Evox, since, since I'm not going to be going after any other nation but the ones I want to go after, I really have no point in like trying to improve relationship with these guys. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm trying to figure, I'm going to try to start stealing tech from these guys actually. Um, try to figure out what we can use, mind reading. This seems like a great technology. And they left their satellite completely open. Oh my goodness, this is going to be easy, alright. Turn off all firing power, put it all towards shields. There we go. Let's go. Alright. They're gonna try to fight me with their little puny ships, which are completely and utterly useless against mine. I mean, my ship is the ultimate ship. It is the best ship. Don't even try to deal any damage to me. Oh, shit. Yeah, you see, it's all those little fighters. You wanna bring out my fighters? Yeah, bring out Operation Zero! Yeah, see how my fighters like you. Alright, and we're almost done with our... Taking up of technology we just finished. Yay! They now hate us, but we gained so much more. We gained credit and we gained technology, which is great. So let's see. Oh my goodness, they actually did a pretty good job. So now these guys are Galaxian. Oh wait, no, no, it's these three. Okay, so we want these three planets to evolve to our point in technology. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... I guess I guess I can't really do much right now because all the other races aren't involved yet. Okay, I get it. Um, so what I'm gonna have to think of is I'm just gonna have to keep stealing technology from these guys because I have nothing else to do. This sounds really bad, but I literally have nothing else to do. So yeah, they're gonna hate me. Like these guys are gonna severely hate me for the rest of their days. But there's not really much I can do. Just, Literally, literally speaking, I can't really do much, and I bet a lot of you guys are thinking, well, why don't you just ascend another race? Ascending another race, you shouldn't do it willy-nilly. You should wait until one of the races asks you to ascend your race, because then you get more influence and more prestige out of it. Trust me, I've done the math. It's way better if you just do it that way instead of, like, doing it the other way, which is usually what they think of, think of as the better way, but it really isn't. Trust me on that. It really isn't. Okay, so let's see. For rating wise, we need to just keep stealing more technology. I'm stealing basically everything I can from these guys. Well, I still don't have any protection. I'm such I'm such like a mean person. Like I already know they don't have any protection against this stuff, and I just keep on like doing whatever I can to like mess them up. I mean, I wonder what they think of me. Just like every single week, another ship or another like another the same type of ship comes and destroys. The entire research facilities and raids everything. The Thraxians are now spacefaring. Okay, Thraxians. So now I got another race I can kind of pick on. The Thraxians are kind of like the uh, unknown de facto enemy. Give me one second, guys. Okay, guys, back. We just had to quickly check in with my parents and everything. Just had to, you know, do do usual family stuff. And so, anyways, these are the Thraxians. They're basically like the. Uh, if equivalenting them to basically like the aliens from aliens if they actually if they actually wanted to be an actual like space faring nation so these guys are pretty difficult to deal with I mean I'm not even gonna deny these guys are pretty difficult to deal with so what we're going to have to do is well <coughs> is we're gonna have to do a couple things First off, we're going to damage the relationship with the Evox. That way, you know, they don't like each other, and that way we can, like, have some fun with that. And have these two try to kill each other off, which would be really nice. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. calculus are now space-bearing. <coughs> Extreme caution is advised. These are the same beings that destroyed your home world. Oh, sorry, The Skylaxians are now spacefaring. They are an advanced species and disapprove of your race's past actions. However, they may just be the key to forming a federation, as their powers of persuasion over the other races are non-trivial. Okay, so basically, guys, 
uh, now that we have had a little bit more time pass and a lot more nations are starting to become more spacefaring, which is what I like. Yes, more terra. Yes, yes, more terraforming specs. I love this mission. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna have to turn off spacefaring. But what I was about to say was that now that more races are more spacefaring, what we can do now is we can instantly like let's get this on quickly so that no one else destroys me. Yeah, this is the easiest way you can. This is why I always love these missions because I can easily do them, especially when you have a cloaking device. Cloaking device makes your life living is living like I don't even know how to describe it. It's just the best thing in the world. So that's Galaxians. They're kind of like the uh, what we usually think of as aliens, but they're actually one of the most nicest race ever, which is kind of weird. Uh, okay, I have to get. Ooh. I don't want you guys to broker trade with any of these people. Oh, let's see. Okay, silicium, uranium. To echo for uranium. No, we don't want to do that. Anyways, um, basically with these guys, we want to get in all good and happy with them. So that way, let's hire a diplomat just because I want to. And that way, we can start diplomatically uh, negotiating my, on my behalf. Let's start uh, researching technology with these guys so that they know that we mean goodwill. And that they know we're not exactly uh, evil space lords as people might assume we are so let's uh, let's get advanced summatomic theory because the summatomic theory is actually very important technology and let's see there's already some fighting going on between some of the other races yes i ruined the relationship between the thraxians and evox exactly what i needed to do exactly what i needed to do okay you guys are not coming up for another 14 minutes for 14 minutes that's good so let's see is there anything i can do let's see the thraxians are definitely going to be one of my good friends in this game, but I need to make sure I be very careful, because they can also be really uh, evil people at the same time, so the economy is a little bit bad, so let's help them out with their economy, and this is, people, if you want to know the basic way to, like, do this, this isn't for, you don't do these kind of friendly acts to help your diplomatic relationship up, you do these friendly acts to help their economy and to help their public relations, you do the, uh, you do, let's see, you do these options like the Galaxian Senate to try to get your relationships up. This is honestly the only other way I think of that you can actually get your relationships up to a good amount. We should also visit the Akushians just so you guys know who they are. They're basically uh, capitalist uh, people. <laughs> I don't know how to else say it. The capitalist people, robots, things, they're people. Okay, I'm going to instantly recruit somebody over here that way I can like get stuff from them if I need it. Fleet construction nano robotics, not really worth it. Uh, don't really want to raid that because a lot of people will hate us. You guys start hating the Thraxians, so I need you guys to start hating the Thraxians. Okay, that way we have a three way front going on here. The Boorangs are now spacefaring. They are solitary and dangerous. Okay, so the Boorangs are now spacefaring, which means there's some other stuff going on. Uh, the Bulldogs want me to give them technology. I don't want to, but then again, I could use these guys as a good little segue into other stuff. But anyways, um, the Akushians built their first, uh, manufacturing outpost. This is good. This is actually a good thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go quickly back to the black market, go over here, buy a security guard, execute the order, go back, now let's go attack this thing. And a lot of you guys may be thinking, well, why would you attack this? Well, basically, if you're not going to be friends with the Akushians, the Akushians are good for two things. That is, attacking a whole bunch of people. Oh, do I have my virus? I don't have my virus this time. Okay. They're good for attacking people. Oh, and by the way, I need to turn off that, turn off that. There we go. Um, they're good for attacking people and attack and uh, forming them for a uh, military outpost so you can get a uh, relationship up with other nations. This is kind of what you need in this game to survive. You need to get lots and lots of relationships up. And we're going to have to do that in a very clever and really thought-provoking manner. So let's just see, but let's just destroy all these guys. And I do have to start break ah, brokering trade between the two races, because otherwise they could become uh, hateful towards each other. Let me destroy these guys. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, let's get right here. Next, what we're going to do is not repair the outpost. We're going to do a hostile takeover of the outpost. There is absolutely no protection. Wow. I am really... Yeah, this is still the early parts of the game. Usually in the later parts of the game, I'm usually having to deal with like six or seven different defense grids. 
tur turrets and all this kind of jazz. But for some reason, since it's still beginning, since they literally just built it, yeah. Oh. Well, well, thank you guys for watching. As we finish up today's episode, we're gonna quickly... Uh, actually, I'll do that next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.